We are also keeping a close eye on the Rampart Fire. This is new video from today, and you can still see flames are still burning in between Woodland Park and Rampart Reservoir. The latest numbers show about 20 acres burned, and it's about 60% contained. Here on News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live near the fire to show us the smoke now. Yeah, definitely lots of progress made up here on the Rampart Fire. We want to show an example of what firefighters are still looking for, however. Hot spots like this one that if you don't attend to them right or put them all the way out, they could spark fires elsewhere. And we'll give you a wider look here of the damage that this fire caused. Now, the Forest Service confirmed to us just a short time ago that this fire, although it burned close to the Teller County line and with Woodland Park just down the mountain, actually remained in El Paso County. But still, if conditions change, namely if the wind picks up, it could easily send this fire down the mountain and into the Sun Valley subdivision on the east side of Woodland Park. That's where we went to speak with neighbors earlier today. The Sun Valley subdivision is a community with upscale homes. Some residents say that it, this is their first time being this close to a wildfire, and it created a sense of uneasiness that they're just not accustomed to. Now, after the standby evacuation order was issued, residents say that they had to scramble to get their families ready to leave, and that could have happened at any time. Um, so I was running an errand in town, saw the smoke, and got the notification that we were on pre-evac right away. And so I went to the high school and picked up my kid a little bit early and went back home to start packing. And by the time we got home, the smoke looked really bad. It was dark white and then turned gray and then got home and got the notice that they canceled the pre-evac. So really thankful that they were able to put it out. Again, though, as we told you, this fire is not completely out yet, up to 60% containment. And that's definitely good news for the neighbors down the mountain. So although neighbors may feel more at ease tonight, they still need to be ready just in case the weather changes and affects this fire again. We are live in El Paso County at the Rampart Fire. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, Scott, thanks. Meanwhile, conditions outside hot and dry today. Here's our camera in Rocky Ford. As far as we know, Rocky Ford area not seeing wildfires. <laughs> so enjoy while it lasts. That could obviously change. Yeah, hoping to see some rain fall from those clouds out there. But Mary, you can tell us if it's actually getting to the ground this afternoon or not. Yeah, just a lot of mid to high level moisture in the form of cloud cover, unfortunately. But we do expect more in the way of rain and actual measurable precipitation to begin across the eastern plains tomorrow with a higher chance for Friday. And that is going to come with a cooling trend.